What is up everyone, John back here with another video and today we're going to be testing out two of the ultra throwers in my opinion. Ace Beam L19, which is this guy right here, versus the oldie but a goodie, Through Night TN42. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this Through Night TN42 is literally like three times the size of the head of the L19. It's crazy to think where technology is, where it's gotten in over the last couple years because, um, you know, this, this through night's probably about four or five years old. Um, and this L19 is brand new. It just came out in 2021. So it's just absolutely crazy to see where technology has gone. So let's wait no further. Let's go ahead and test it out. Ace Beam L19 on this wall right here. Awesome hot beam or hot spot. I mean, that focus beam is just out of this world laser blinding focus beam on this light catapult oh, i'm sorry not catapult through night tn42 look at that so that's how you know the tn42 has absolutely monstrous throw to it because when you look at the l19 on the right it's got a hot spot no doubt and it's really focus beam um, but when you look at the tn42 it's got a little bit of spill on the outside around this little area right here but it also has a center focus beam in the center of that i don't know if you can if the camera will really do a good job picking that up or if it just washes it all out but if you look on the outer edge it's got a little like a centered beam right here of course it's got a spill that goes all the way around but the center beam right here has a little bit of a spill and then in the center it's got a punch hole right in the center that just shows you it's going to be an ultra thrower and that it is my friends so this one you're looking at, I believe it's like over 1,500 meters of throw um, compared to the 1,300 meters on the Ace Beam L19, but let's wait no further, let's try it out. So L19, no problem. All the way to the end of that field, which is a good couple hundred feet away. Look at that. So somebody was standing right there, you could clearly see them in pitch blackness with this light on. Unbelievable. Somebody was in the trash area, you could see that, no problem. Look at that. Now let's go ahead and try out the uh, TN42. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Now that is crazy too. Now notice the spill on this TN42, I mean, it's got some nice spill to it. Not only is it a, a punchy center, really ultra focused hot spot but it also got some nice spill to it because it reaches the building to the left of me all the way over there from the spill so that's pretty impressive stuff right there so let's try out the ace beam l19 all the way out here look at that easily makes it to that tower setup right over there easily hits that wooded area no problem and it's very useful. I mean, if you, if there was if you were trying to track something in that wooded area right here, you could clearly see if there's something over there. Look at that. All the way to the far, far, far end of this parking lot. It hits it, no problem. Those trees all the way back there, a good thousand meters away. I checked it out on uh, Google Maps and I did the measurements from uh, Google Earth and it's over a thousand meters away. I mean, it's crazy. And I know this is a 1300 um, meter, you know, light, but it is crazy when you actually see it in action, you know? It's one thing to read something on the package, it's a whole other thing to see it in action, you know? Look at that. All right, let's try out the uh, TN42 from Through Night in Turbo. Bam, look at that. <laughs> My goodness, it hits the farthest end of this parking lot where all those trees are at absolutely so easily. Oh my goodness, it's unreal. Wow. For being as old as this light is, I can't get over how impressed this light makes me when I shine. <laughs> Through night TN42, Ace Beam L19. Look at the difference. Look at the difference on these two. Wow, now that is so freaking impressive. Oh my God. 
Look at that. Wow. So I don't know, you guys be the judge of that one. In person, I will say, they are very close looking to me. Now, I don't know if that's just limitations on what the eye can see, um, or if it's just literally what I'm seeing, you know? To me, it looks like they are very close. Obviously, the uh, TN42 from ASP, or uh, from Through Night uh, inches out just a little bit, ever so slightly, it's all the way down to the far end of that parking lot. Um, you could clearly see more, at least to the naked eye. I don't know how it's gonna look in the footage, but to the naked eye, you could definitely see more with the uh, TN42 opposed to the L19. Uh, but overall, I'm just oh, so impressed with both of these lights. It's, oh my goodness, this these two right here, is a flashlight aholic's dream to have these both side by side. Two totally different lights. The, the TN42 is obviously a search light that you're only gonna use once in a while. Um, and the L19 is one that you could throw in your pocket actually, you know? So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. So I appreciate it, each and every one of you for watching, subscribing, liking. It means the world to me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.